So first of all, go ahead and dislike this video because how stupid is that title and this entire experiment I'm embarking on in general. Um, I am quitting alcohol for a year and I haven't drank anything in the last two and a half weeks. Um, maybe 11 months, like a, a year seems like a nice round number, but I'm done with Gary in early July. So that I'm going at least until July 10th of 2016. And first of all, the reason I am doing this has absolutely nothing to do with needing to cut out alcohol to get in shape or for my fitness or because I want to lose fat or because I want to gain muscle or anything like that. Like link up, link down in the description, a four part, very comprehensive series I wrote on how to binge drink essentially or drink however you want and still make progress. Um, I'm 28 years old now, since I was 18 years old, I've been binge drinking between one and three times per week, mainly one and two, but like there were a few years in there in college where I continued to make progress and was going out Thursday, Friday, Saturday consistently, um, drinking between six and 15 drinks per night, depending on like where I was exactly. Um, so this isn't about, you need to cut out alcohol to make progress, that's stupid. Like, it's absolutely not true. I'm doing this because I'm I'm really curious what's going to happen. That's it. Like in my life, I'm very curious how certain things will change. Um, when I drink, I am much less productive the next day. And maybe that's super obvious. Like, yeah, we all get hung over and you get hung over more as you get older. But it's more than that. It literally takes me 36 hours to reset and like, be back on point. So if you take two out of seven days where I drank the night before and my behavior and output the next day is way down, like 40, 50, 60% below what it would be, that's two out of seven days. That's like 30% of life I'm functioning as like a half version of myself. I'm very curious what seven out of seven days being on point will do to different areas of my life. Um, I'm curious what will happen to my business and my ability to write more and add more value and produce more content and just do more. I'm curious about both the volume that I can put out and the quality of that and if or how it will change. And I'm not sure it will. Like one of my best friends, Bear, when he was playing Division One football, like in his fourth, third or fourth year, um, he cut out alcohol for six weeks because he was curious how it would affect him during camp and like his strength and his endurance and everything. Didn't have a drop for six weeks, like was in a similar situation I was in where college lifestyle, like he would go out a couple nights a week um, and it didn't change anything. He was like, I, I didn't get stronger and like added it back in, whatever. So it didn't make a difference for him. I'm very curious. Business number one. Number two, um, I am curious what will happen fitness wise. Now, you don't have to cut out alcohol to make any kind of muscle gain, fat loss, even like health related progress. I'm sure binge drinking isn't necessarily good for your health, but like you can get healthier while incorporating alcohol in your life. Um, I started in a calorie surplus seven weeks ago and I've been training pretty intensely and taking my training very seriously recently. It's felt really good. I'd be lying if I said a part of me wasn't curious what would happen from a training point. I have these 10 years of data where I did binge shrink and I did care a lot about fitness and my body changed. I'm curious what eliminating alcohol will do to my gains as uh, teenagers here on YouTube would say. Um, and the third area of my life is women. Like I definitely use alcohol as a crutch for social situations, for dating, for going out with girls, like for hooking up. It makes things much easier. It makes me and I would say everyone more confident and more comfortable in their skin and in like their behavior when drinking. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super curious what my dating life is going to look like when living in the city, drinks is no longer going to be an option for a date. And I despise dinner dates. So it's there's going to be a lot of ice cream in there. Um, so yeah, I, I really don't have a point of shooting this video. Like I'm not a believer in putting it out there and that adds accountability back to me. I actually think this hurts me um, because I, I'm deriving satisfaction from telling you guys my plan. So that's definitely not it. Part of me thinks that... Um, 
like if this really does have the kind of impact that I think it might have and I write a post about it or I like, you know, tell a story about it a year from now and how it changed things. Um, I want to have something to reference back and be like, look, this is when I started. Like, this was my mindset going into it. This is where I was. This is what I thought I was going to get out of it. This is what actually happened. And I want to document that both for myself and because I'm getting much more into YouTube lately. I just wanted to shoot a video, um, put it out there for you guys. So that's what I'm doing. I haven't really hit any challenges yet. I've been in the Hamptons training Gary, like it's pretty small townish here in Southampton. Um, so I, there haven't been a lot of temptations or times where I was like, I really want to drink. Like that will happen at weddings or if I'm around my like seven or eight or nine best friends that I grew up with and a couple I went to college with. Like when we get together, we drink and we go out and we have fun and we go hard. And like that's going to happen many times over the next 11 months. And I'm curious how I'll hold up in those situations. I have a wedding over Labor Day. We'll see how that goes. State fair is like a drinking event that I'll be at. So we'll see. This is going to be interesting. That's all I have for this video. I do not encourage you to give up drinking. Oh, and I know there is going to be a mentality like, why do you have to cut it out completely? I'm, I'm like thinking of my mom being like, Michael, why can't you just have one or two drinks? Because I don't like one or two drinks. I don't like the taste of alcohol. If I'm going to have something to enjoy it, I would much rather have a Diet Coke or like a milkshake or something. Um, I drink for the feeling that alcohol gives me. And I don't know whether that gives me a problem or... I don't know, you guys can diagnose that, but I, I have no interest in moderation in this specific area of my life. So, sorry about that guys, the memory on my phone is just atrocious. Um, so yeah, I, I think I said everything that I was gonna say. 11 months, no booze, super excited about this. A little worried about some of the obstacles I'm gonna face, but um, mainly just very, very curious how this is going to change me if it does. All right, I'll keep you posted. Questions, whatever, below in the comments. Talk to you guys soon.